Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and today we're going to be looking at some more movie cars in GTA Online. <laughs> So this was requested by a user called Reflex and I'm sorry this video has taken a little bit longer than expected but I'm finally bringing you all the Transformers cars that are in GTA Online. Now before we continue this video obviously I want to just say that none of the cars in GTA can actually transform into robots. Uh, I'm sure you guys already realise that. Um, so we're just looking at the cars from the Transformer franchise that we can actually get in GT Online. So number one we have Bumblebee and I'm using the original uh, 70s Camaro for this and for this one we're using the Nightshade. Um, you can't get this one to look that similar but the Nightshade is primarily based off the same Camaro as Bumblebee. Uh, now you could also use the um, Vapid Winky, the Willys Jeep, uh, fe featured in the Bumblebee movie, or you could also use a yellow Volkswagen Beetle, which would be the Weasel in GT Online, um, again featured in the Bumblebee movie. Next we have Ironhide, and for this one I've used the Vapid Guardian, uh, just painted this one black and primary matte black, and then gone for these off-road wheels, and again painted those black. Then we have Barricade, the police car. Um, for this one, basically just pick up yourself a police cruiser and you're good to go. Then we have the Blackout Helicopter. And for this one, I've used the new Annihilator Stealth Helicopter. Um, it's not actually based on the same helicopter, but it does look kind of similar. It's the most similar helicopter we have in the game. Uh, so I think it would work pretty well. Then we have Starscream, and for this one I've used the P996 Laser. Again, this one is not actually based on the same um, jet as Starscream, but it's very similar. It's the most similar vehicle we have in GT Online, uh, and it's close enough to reach this list. Then we have Sideswipe. Now, this is actually based on a Corvette. Uh, prototype car which we don't have in GT Online but I did find that the Hijack Chameleon uh, does look very similar especially if you paint it in this um, brushed aluminium paint it does look very very similar. Then we have the RC Motorbike and for this one I've used the Batty 801 painted it uh, red and secondary red and then I've gone for these wheels and just painted those black. Then we have Jolt, and um, for this one I've used the Cheval Surge, a very underrated car in GT Online, but this is a fully electric car. Uh, now, we only see Jolt briefly in the Transformers franchise, but he is in the Transformers franchise, so that's why he's on this list. Then we have Sideways, the Audi R8, and for this one I've used the Obey 9F, and for this one i uh, just taken the Obey 9F and painted it this brushed aluminium colour again and apart from that it's already very similar. Then we move on to the Wreckers. Now there are actually three Wreckers from the third Transformers film um, so I'm not going to display all of them here but they all look very similar to the Apocalypse Dominator. So take the Apocalypse Dominator that you can find from the Arena War DLC and then just paint it to match one of the wreckers, whichever one you want to build. Then we have Soundwave. Uh, for this one, I've used the uh, Serrano. You could also use the Schlagen GT here. Um, both of those cars are very similar looking. Um, depending on which one you want to go for, the Serrano is considerably cheaper. So if you're on a bit of a budget, then I'd recommend going with the Serrano, but the Schlagen GT is also a very similar build. Then we have Drift, and for this one I have used the Trafade Adder. Uh, now, I have to apologise for this one because I could not get it to match the actual car that closely. 
Um, as you can see from the real photo, it's sort of black and it has that blue stripe along the side and blue wheels. And I couldn't really get it to match that, so I decided to just paint the whole car blue and blue wheels. And it kind of looks similar. I think if you took it to a car meet, people would know which uh, build you're trying to do. Um, but you could also use the Trophée Nero for this, which is technically based on a Chiron, but it does look very similar. Then we have Crosshairs, and this is actually based on a uh, Corvette, um, which we don't have in GT Online, so I've decided to use the Bravado Banshee 900R. This is the Benny's version of the Banshee. And if you paint it green and you apply this livery, it does look very, very similar. Then we have Stinger, and that is uh, based on the Pagani Awira. And for this one, I've used the um, Pegasi Osiris. Um, I've gone for a metallic paint with this one. I believe it's metallic silver with a pearlescent um, pony pink, I think. Um, and it does look very, very similar to the real car. And finally, we have Hot Rod from Transformers 5 based on an old Citroen DS23 and for this one I've used the Pigale. Now the Pigale is actually based on a newer version of the DS23. Um, so it's not identical but it's very very close. It's the closest car we have in GT Online to Hot Rod. And that is my list. Uh, hopefully you guys agree with the list that all the cars are correct. Again let me know in the comment section if there are any cars you think I've missed. Um, if you have a franchise you want me to cover, then definitely drop that down there and I'll be sure to do it in a future video. And if you did enjoy this video, I'd appreciate you dropping a like and subscribing if you are new. That's going to do it for this video though. Thanks all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one.